Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Draft Day Sports College Football 2023 with the Boston College Eagles. <coughs> um, it's the offseason, and I will tell you right off the bat that I might not be overly enthusiastic for this. I, I don't know if you guys saw on my YouTube page and on Discord, I gave myself a concussion on Tuesday. I walked into a doorframe. I uh, went to the ER and, and the whole bit. Um, I'm feeling better. Um, obviously good enough to record a video, but I'm still not 100% there. Still have a slight headache and nauseous and just kind of stuff that goes along with a concussion. So uh, there you go. Um, all right, it's time for the off season. So we're going to jump right into the transfer portal. Uh, you can see here are the four seasons that we've played, uh, not including this one. So we went five and seven in our first year, then back to back four and eight years, then three and nine two years ago. And then this past season, we went six and seven, made a bowl game, lost in the bowl game. But I'm hoping for improvement. Now, I'm hoping next year will be our first winning season. Although we get offered the East Carolina job, we will keep the current team. Um um, I don't even remember what I was going to say. Yeah, it was just, yeah, hopefully, you know, we're able to, 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 you know, make, have a winning season this year. We'll see what happens. Fine with our coaches. Hopefully, uh, nobody, um, five years, four million. Oof, these guys want a lot of money. Yeah, we're already over our budget. So we're likely to lose one, if not both, of these guys. So we'll see what happens. Let's advance a week. Yep, we lost one right off the bat to Wyoming. Our offensive coordinator is now the head coach at Wyoming. Good for him. Uh, so we need an offensive coordinator. Uh, offensive coordinators. All right, looking for somebody who doesn't want a ton of money. Defensive, defensive, Larry Hawkins. Flexibility, loyalty. I mean, he's good at coaching the offense. I mean, I guess that's really what we need, right? Someone who can coach the offense. He's defensive coordinator. Three for four, Philip Sylvia. No. Johnny Fort. Let's go back up here and talk to this guy who only wanted. Where was he? Larry Hawkins. Let's offer Larry Hawkins. And let's advance. My guess is we probably lose Silva too. No, well, we didn't lose either of them, but we did bring in Larry Hawkins, so that's good. We can advance a week and make sure we don't lose <coughs> our D coordinator as well. Nope, not yet. We're still good, I believe. We'll just double check to make sure. Mm -hmm. Still good, both offensively and defensively. And we are in to recruiting. All right, no. Okay, that's good. We didn't lose any of our, uh, uh, we didn't lose our defensive coordinator. So that's a good thing. All right, so recruiting. Um, yeah, I mean, recommended players uncommitted. This is what we want. Oof. Number seven defensive. I mean, we're going to, I mean, he's, he's not going to come to us, but we're going to offer, we're going to offer all these guys. Cause why the hell not? Right. Um, and my assumption is that they're going to get scooped up really, really quickly, but, um, you know, maybe we can get lucky with one or two of them. Especially these linebackers, man. I love a good linebacker. Three. 
three-star linebacker with no offers. Salserna. And we don't have any money to recruit. That's the only problem. So um, we're just going to have to hope that we can land people on our on our laurels, which is not likely to happen, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Guard, guard. All right, let's go to targets. Actions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Huh? Oh no, this is our guy. Gregory Rosario is leaving. Okay. Well, that's too bad. Oh well, okay. And I just hid the wrong guy, so let's go ahead and fix that. This guy, go back to targets, offer, we got one scholarship left. I mean, we're not going to, I mean, we probably aren't going to sign any of these players, but we will see how it goes, uh, uncommitted. We'll offer another guard. All right, let's advance a week. Did we get any of them? All of these players rejected us. Yeah, that's not a surprise. All right, so let's go back to... <sighs> Crap. I mean, it's not a surprise. I mean, I mean, I knew this was good, but we still have a bunch of players here that only have a couple of offers, so let's go here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Mark Cook, we are the only one to offer him. Falcon, let's offer him. Shane Phillips, let's offer him. I mean, it's four ninety nine. I mean, we're already kind of getting into the, I don't want to say the dregs, but uh, offer him. 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 I missed the offer there. All right. Let's keep going. Defensive tackle, running back. We do need a center, so we can offer there. Um, sure, we can offer a wide receiver. Six feet, 190, good speed, decent enough hands. Meh, I mean, he's all right. Billy James, accuracy and speed. I like that. Let's offer Billy James. Maybe we can bring in a quarterback to help compete. Wide receiver, Ralph Carr. 92 arm. He's all right. Um... Need a tackle, we can offer there. Offer him as well. Offer a guard. All right, let's see. Because we certainly don't want 16 walk-ons, which is what we're kind of dealing with here. They've all rejected us. James, Sills, and Tanner so far, we haven't landed anybody in the transfer portal. That's not encouraging. Um, let's visit and 91. I mean, he looks okay. I'm not going to, yeah, I mean, Cerna. this was stupid of me. I didn't use any of my outreach hours. So, you know, I kind of get what I get here, right? Like this is, this is my fault, but. Uncommitted. Gates. Mitchell. Can't offer Rosario. He still only has one scholarship offer. I'd like to bring him in. Harmon. 90 speed. Yeah, I mean, sure, why not? James Murray. Serna. We're still the only one to offer him. Um, Chad 
Bolin, Andre Carlton. We don't really need all of these defensive tackles. That's the problem. Um, but that yeah, would have been nice to bring in one of those high end, high end. Uh, we're gonna offer. Oh, Mitchell's one of mine too. So we got the 206th and 255th uh, ranked players in the nation uh, that I can't. Um, that I can't uh, um, bring back to my program, which is fine. All right, let's just interview everybody. Nope, not him. He doesn't want to come play for us. Not that this would have made, I don't think the home visits for some of those big guys would have made a difference, but it might have made a difference with some of those like 200 and 300 level players. Bolin and Phillips both. Yeah, I mean, we can't get anybody. Like, this sucks. <laughs> like, I don't know how else to describe it. This sucks. Nobody's interested in coming to play for us. Uh, all right, so 10 outreach hours. Um, let's just talk to everybody, see if that helps. Committed. I will offer Carlton. Nobody else has offered him a, a scholarship. Same thing with Burns. Same thing with Timothy Nickel. I'll just offer him scholarships because nobody else has. It's signing day. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Keep our fingers crossed. All right, so QB, we have the fifth-ranked QB class in the nation. No running backs, no wide receivers. We have the second-best tight end class, the second-best offensive line class, the best defensive line class, and that looks like it. All in all, not bad. Top three classes in tight end, offensive line, and defensive line, and a top five quarterback class. I'll take it. I will take it. I don't know where that leaves us overall. Nationally, our class is ranked at 61. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. Who else did we sign? Oh, we have a, a four-star, 134th ranked quarterback. I mean, that's a we did pretty good. We did pretty good. All right, I'll take it. Let's go to training and see what we see. All right, so Paul Clancy, 89 overall. Let's go. 18-year-old Julio Thigpen has, or excuse me, Joshua Shook has some, no, he was, These both of these guys are freshmen. So Julio Thigpen all of a sudden gets pushed to the back burner. Wilfredo Campbell, 88 overall running back. Woodruff, 85 overall running back. Our running back stable's pretty stacked. Michael Keller South. Look at those three tight ends that we just brought in. 90, 87, 86. Let's go. Not that we need that many tight ends, but Colin Waldrop is going to be elite at the tight end position. Um, yeah, Cern is a great blocker for a tight end. I'm happy with that. Let's go. Gene Brown, 86 overall. Christopher Freeman, 81 overall. He looks okay. Timothy Nichols, an 80 overall. Probably won't play much. Tisdale, 87 overall. That's nice. Offensive line, 75, 75. We got a 79 overall in Tommy Randall. Richard Wolf, 83 overall. We got 78, 77, 80. So a lot of high 70, low 80 offensive linemen. Not great, but young and can develop. Andre Carlton, an 80. Mark Cook, 86 overall. Jerome Burns. David Strickland, a 19-year-old, 85 overall. You like to see that. Falcon, an 84 overall. We got, yeah, we got a... This was a good recruiting class for us, I think. I'm, I'm happy with that. Our linebacker core is still weak, man. We got to do something about our linebackers. I don't know what we're going to do here. That's got to be our main focus this offseason, 100%. All right. Uh, we're going to put our attention on new quarterback.
quarterback, Clancy. Same thing here. Yeah, we got to do something. So we're gonna, we'll, we'll obviously we'll we'll try to lean for a defensive. Um, uh, maybe like, can you do like I'd love to be able to play like a four-two-five. Like that might be fun. Four down linemen, a couple of linebackers. Like I guess that's just technically a nickel, right? Play a nickel defense primarily. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sal so oh God, Cerna. Already an eleven improvement. He's in between eighty nine overall. We have some good tight ends. Julio Thigpen gets better, but unfortunately it might be a little too little too late for him. He's likely not to get much uh, much playing time this year. Let's look at our depth chart. Uh, let's let Mr. Flutie set it. Yeah, Clancy first, then Thigpen, then Shook. Okay. Uh, if we look at running backs, Valenti is our top back, 95 speed, 61 strength. That's fine. Who does it have as the number two back? Kennedy, 95 speed. Yeah, I'm fine with Kennedy as my number two, and then Ter as Terrell as our number three. I'm going to go Campbell as my number three, and then on offensive package two, we're going to go Campbell and Woodruff. In fact, let's do that now. Campbell and Woodruff with Terrell as the backup. Uh, fullbacks. 89 strength. Okay, yeah, we, we might need to pay some attention to the fullback situation as well. Guard play. Yeah, our, ugh, it's not great. Miller and Courier should probably be our two guards, right? Miller, yeah. Courier, 88 and 80. Miller and Courier, yep. Tackle. Scarborough and Whitson. Yep, that's what we got there. Okay. Center, Ocasio, yeah, 87, 88. Yeah, he's the best by far. The tight end room is interesting. Waldrop and Cerna are just elite. Um, Waldrop is the better pass catch. Well, I don't know. Cerna's got better hands. Cerna's got better hands. He better blocker. Waldrop is is lightning fast, though. Um, looking forward to running some two, uh, two, wide, two tight end. You know, two wide receiver, two tight end sets. What's that called? The 22? Is that what it's called? I don't know. And we got Keller, who's really good as well. Yeah, our tight end room is stacked. Um, to the point that, I mean, 6'7", 243. Serna, 6'3", 228. Keller. What happens if we make Keller a wide receiver? To the curiosity. Drops to a 75, yeah. All right. Let's put him back at tight end. So we have three elite tight ends, which is really obviously awesome. Uh, wide receiver. Dobson is our top wide receiver. And Gunn and Tinsdale. Yep, I'm okay with that. Gene Brown as our backup. And if we go to... Oh, that's offensive package too. All right. Oops. Um... We need to change this back. So Valenti and Kennedy on default offense. Yeah. All right. Um, Cerna. Then if we go to offensive package two, uh, we can go. Don't know. I mean, we got some decent speed, but I think we go Tisdale as our number one. Back up Dobson. Our backup, yeah, back up Dobson. Our number two will be Brown. We will back up with Gunn. And our number three here will be who? Lawrence Bailey because of the speed, I think. Yeah. All right. So that's the offense. Let's take a look at the defense. Cornerbacks, Bell and Pew. We've got Rash, who's got 78 speed, 61 hands. It wants Bell and Pew. Why? 
Bell Strong. No, Rash is our number one. Absolutely, Dwayne Rash is our number one. Uh, our Nickelback will be Bell. Nickelback two. Mark Fisher. Linebackers. Yeah, our linebackers are just not good. It wants, yeah, it wants a... Um, we're going to put Yoakum in as our as our top linebacker. It wants a strong safety as our linebacker one, which isn't going to work. Uh, Schofield, I think, can be our number two because he's got that 88 tackling. That's kind of what I'm looking at. Right outside line, we'll go with Moultrie just because he's played relatively well for us here. And then Zonovan Davis with his 86 tackling. Yeah, I guess that'll work. Uh, if we now go to defensive tackle, we've got Cook and Strickland. Yep, I'm okay with that. We're likely to lose one of these guys because they're not going to play as much, but that's fine. Defensive end, Oren Talley. We're going to go Talley and Falcon, I think. I like the speed rushers on the end. Richie can be our backup. I'm okay with that. Free safety, Buster Lucas, James Murray, and then strong safety is going to be Sites with Yarborough backing him up. Save. Uh, let's go to defensive package two, and we will switch these guys, Yarborough and Sites, and then Murray and Lucas, just so they don't get angry and leave. All right. Uh, strategies. I am recording, right? Okay, good. I was nervous there. Uh, all right, so we'll stick with Doug Flutie. We go to game planning. Uh, focus is going to be. I think we're gonna go. Oof. I think we go a little more balanced this year. Go a little more balanced. Let's go a little bit faster. I think passing preference is medium. Passing target will be balanced. Our primary receiver is going to be Irvin Dobson. Um, ooh, tight end roll. Let's, you know what? I want to look at something. I forgot to look at our, our new quarterback to see what his, his passing, his uh, running ability is. 69 agility, 59 speed. So he's a, he's a pocket passer. All right, that's fine. Uh, our third down back, who has the best hands? Looks like it's Wilfredo Campbell. He's going to be our third down back. And then Kennedy will be our goal line back. So Woodruff and Kennedy. All right, Woodruff and Kennedy. Third down back is Woodruff. Kennedy running back. Let's stay inside. Running back roll running. We will go backfield by committee we'll see what that does if it jacks up the uh the um uh the number of players that run qb tuck and run rare tight end roll mixed we're gonna go mixed because we've got both uh defensive game plan is balanced uh primary coverage i think we'll mixed defensive line pass rush Yep, that'll work. <clears throat> Somebody suggested that I that I make my own playbook. I don't know that I can get that deep into the game, to be completely honest with you. Um, and so we have our same schedule. I think I have to change this. We play Notre Dame every year. I don't want to play Notre Dame every year. But we do play UMass, Rutgers, and Buffalo every season. So, all right. It's fine. All right, guys. Here we go. And I think we will let the game. I'm like, I'm. we're going to play it, but I'm not going to actually, uh, like, play the game. I'll let the, the um, officials, um, or not the officials, the coaches, um, call the plays like I won't actually change the play calls all right so he's going with a shotgun split zone left with uh, out of the pistol 
So that's a five-yard run by Valenti. Dive left again. Three-yard run. I'm running it on third and inches. Okay, so I am going to take control of that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> don't like that at all. We're going to run the ball on third and inches. We pick up the first down and more. There we go. All right, now we're going to run it here again. Screen on second down. That was an RPO. Okay. Inside slants on third and seven. Pass is intercepted. So not a good first pass by Clancy. It is picked off. His first collegiate pass is intercepted. I right, get a four-yard run. Pass incomplete. Okay, so they run it on third down. It's now fourth. Why are we in? They're going for it on fourth and four? Okay. And they get it. All right. Rutgers aggressive early on. There's an interception. Zonovan Davis picks it off. We go the other direction. Run to the right. Valenti a short game. Another RPO. Not sure how I feel about the RPOs, but that was a run around the end by the tight end. Well, yeah, we may have to see about removing some of the RPOs here. I don't like the the an RPO with my my pass blocking tight end on uh, on third and seven. They carry the ball around the right end. Big gain for Rutgers. 16 yards. Pass complete to the fullback. Third and one. And we get him in the backfield. There we go. Oren Talley with a sack. Fourth and nine. So we have a pick and a sack here in the first quarter. Take over at the 46. Run around the end. There we go. We're going to pass the ball. Let's not throw an interception this time. Throws the ball away to avoid the sack. Okay. Jet sweep on third and seven again. All right. You want to go for it on fourth and five? All right. Let's do it. Oh, Dobson dropped it. Probably should have punted there, but that's okay. Pass is complete for five, so it's third and five now. They don't get the first down, but they are going to go for it. Pass is incomplete. A lot of runs here by BC. We've only thrown the ball, I think, three times. Play result, defensive holding. No, we're going to decline the penalty. Take the uh, first completed pass of the career of Mr. Clancy. 10-yard catch to Cerna. The wishbone, okay. It worked. Unnecessary roughness on us, though. All right, so second and 16 now. First quarter is about to come to an end. That pass is complete to Tisdale for 17 yards and a first down. Pass to Cern is incomplete. There's a completed pass to Dobson for seven, third, and two. We get the first down. Woodruff, tight end quick out. And we will take the pass and the penalty. First and goal on the six. There's a touchdown pass. From T Clancy to Tisdale, set six yards, and we are up 7 nothing here in the second. That was a good drive by the offense. They return it to the 19. Back to pass. Pass is complete. Second inches. 
Yeah, we will accept the 14-yard unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. Brings up, what, third down? Third and 14 on the 15? Pass is incomplete. And they will be forced to punt. Good kick. Wow. 54-yard punt. BC ball on the own on our own 31. Dobson gets hurt. That's not good. Second and 10. Run up the middle. Valenti for three. Third and seven. Pass to Cerna's incomplete. So we go three and out. Good kick for us the other way. They take over on their own 14-yard line. Pass is complete. Second and three. Too many men on the field. They pick up the first down. Second and four. Third and one. And Davis makes the tackle in the backfield. Love it. On third and one. Another good punt for them. We're pinned back on our 15. Pass is complete to Tisdale. Second and four. Defensive holding. And we'll take the eight yard, eight yard completion. Skinny posts. Taking a shot here. Pass falls incomplete. Run to the left by Tisdale for three. Third and seven. Screen pass complete. Big gain. Uh, nullif uh, nullified by a hold. Damn it. Third and 17. Okay. Hand it off up the middle. We forced a punt. Oh, that's disappointing. And that's a terrible punt, and that's a good return for them. That was a net of 17 yards. Back to throw. Let's it go. Pass is incomplete. Third and long. Pass complete to the fullback, and he's gone. The fullback is gone for the touchdown. 40-yard pass play to the fullback ties it up here in the second quarter. All right, so we're going to call a, wide or a, a slant here. Drops back to play. Oh, gun was open. Gun was open. Oh, come on. We're going to run a counter left. This is a give up play right here. Give up play. We need another turnover. Momentum is all on the side of Rutgers here. All on the side of the Scarlet Knights. And they're just marching right downfield again. Timeout called by Rutgers, third and one. And they get the ball to start the second half, too, so that's not good either. I just saw first and goal, so that's another big pass, another big pass play for them. Can we hold them to three? We cannot. That sucks. Because they get the ball to start the second half as well. Kind of a stupid play call is this. An end around. 14 yards. How much time is left? 10 seconds. Okay, well, half is over. Let's look at the box score. Not that there's much to look at, but 7 of 15, passing 57 yards. We ran the ball okay. Clancy's first half of college football wasn't great. 7 of 15, a touchdown. They have two quarterbacks. We must have knocked one of them out, but their, their passing's been good. 12 of 17 for 119 yards. 
Uh, Tisdale has four receptions. Davis, five tackles, three passes defended in a sack. All right, well, we need a turnover here in the second half. We don't want to get down two scores against Rutgers early. We stop them on the 11. Now would be a good time for a turnover. Nope. A big pass play. And a big run. And just like that, they're at the 43. Two plays. We can't stop them. There we go. Moultrie with the pick. That's what we needed. Let's go. Penalty. False start. I'm just going to give it right back. Yeah, it's now third and eight. I'm not, no. Not on... We're running the ball on third and eight. Pass is incomplete. <sighs> the offense is struggling, man. Offense is struggling. Defense has a couple of turnovers, but... Oh, there's a fumble recovered by Schofield. It's our ball. I'm not running a tight end jet sweep. Stop it. Handoff up the middle. There's a big run down to the five and in for the touchdown. Let's go. Michael Valenti picks up the touchdown as we cause a couple of turnovers here in the third quarter to get back into this. So I think that's what I'll do is I'll call the plays. On, I'll let them call the plays unless it's a stupid play call. And then I will, uh, <laughs> then I'll change it. We get this thing tied. It's a start. Now we need to stop him, get the ball back, and try to go in for the lead. Pass is complete, so third and four. Can we stop him on third down? We can, and they're going to punt it. Excellent. Yeah, I think if they're going to call like tight end sweeps and stuff, like I will, uh, I will, um, yeah. If they call like tight end jet sweeps and stuff, I'll uh, I'll change the calls there. <clears throat> so an eight yard play and a penalty on them. Running game huge here in the second half so far. Pass falls incomplete. That pass is complete. Third down. Nope. We're gonna go counter left. Try to pick up the first down on the ground with a normal run, and we don't, but we are certainly going to go for it here. Stretch right. Yeah, let's try a stretch play. Did we get it? No, we turned it over on downs. Damn. Oh, big play by Rutgers. Get there, get there, get there, get there. All right. Damn. That's what happens when you don't get it on fourth down. And two plays later, the Scarlet Knights go in for the touchdown. Damn. All right. <laughs> we turn out to the 26. Nope. Pass is complete for the first down. Tackle behind the line. Ugh. Cool. So we're going to get a 10-yard completion and a 15-yard unsportsmanlike on top of it. That'll work. Pass is complete. False start. First and 15. Pass is complete for the first down and more. So we are, I'm not running a jet sweep. 
He will run a dive to the left. Gets us down. No, no, no. Uh, let's go spread. And keep you dive right. Second and goal from the one, and we're in for the touchdown. There we go. Kennedy takes it in, and we are... What happened? He... Oh, okay. The score hadn't updated yet. I got worried. So we're tied at 21. Let's see if we can stop them. Unsportsmanlike on Rutgers. I will take that. They're committing a ton of stupid penalties. Second and long. Second and 16. Third and 16. Can we stop them here? Get the ball back? They're going to run it. Yes, fourth and 12. Can we take the lead? Sweep left. Big run there. Big run by Kennedy for 15 yards and a first. Pass is complete to Tisdale. Tisdale down to the 30, down to the 20, the 15, the 10, 41 yards to Anthony Tisdale. Run the ball to the right. There's a hole. Tight end clutter on second and four from the seven. Pass is complete and in. There we go. Touchdown, Waldrop. Colin Waldrop, the 90 overall tight end. Paul Clancy picks up his second passing touchdown of the game. And we've put up 21 points here in the third quarter. We're up seven. Stop him. Stop him. Tackle him. Okay. First and 10. Back to throw. Another big play for Rutgers. Defensive pass interference. And they're all of a sudden on the 25. That didn't take long. First down. We're in the fourth. The run up the middle. Fumble recovered by Boston College. Let's go. Fourth turnover of the game for Rutgers. And that was a big one. Here's a run by Kennedy. Slot drag. Okay. Pass falls incomplete. Third and two. Counter left. Oh, come up a yard short. All right, we got to play some defense. Penalty, unnecessary roughness. That was dumb. They're already on the 39. Pass complete. Fumble recovered by Witty. It's our ball. Another turnover. That's five turnovers by Rutgers. All right, fine. We'll give you a wide receiver sweep. Off tackle right on third and four. Oof. Okay. Rutgers keeps turning the ball, and that's a terrible punt, man. Unnecessary roughness on Rutgers. I will accept that. Yet another offense, another offensive penalty. Pass is incomplete. They are forced to punt again. Mm, nice kick. All right, first and ten. All right, you want to throw it? We'll throw it from the ten. Pass is incomplete. I don't even know how much time is left. A tackle gain of eight. We're going to come out in the two tight ends, and we're going to run it. 638. 15-yard uh, face mask. Play was five yards. Yep. I think now we start running the ball. You want to run fine. Well, you want to run a slant? We'll run a slant. Pass is complete. I'm not running a jet sweep. We'll run a draw. Two tight ends. Off tackle left. 
gets there. We get the first down. Skinny posts. All right. We're going to take a shot here, huh? Pass is complete. The shot worked. 10-5. And we're down to the two. Gun for 47 yards. We're going to try to run it over the left end. We do. There's another touchdown. And that one might cap this game off as we are up by two touchdowns. This video is going longer, so I'm not going to do any recruiting this episode. That'll all start with the next episode, I think. Um, I just want to get through the game at this point. We'll look at the stats, and then we'll call it. Passing complete. He's got to record like three videos today. All right, so fourth and in inches. They're going to go for it. They pick it up. It's fine. Pass is incomplete. Second down. Third down. Illegal formation, so now it's third and 15. And they're going to run it. Tackles made, fourth and nine. Timeout called by Rutgers. They run it. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, do I have, there's a minute 33 left. Where do I have kneel downs? Yeah, I do. Uh, I formation, kneel down. Third and 14, I formation. Force them to use all their timeouts here. Fourth and 16, we will punt it. So we're going to go to 1-0. and A little hairy there at first, but uh, we forced five Rutgers turnovers. And that led to the victory. We got some good offense. It wasn't great, but uh, turnover on downs, and the game is over. All right, so we defeat Rutgers 35-21. to Clancy in his debut, 16-28. Turned out to have a really nice game, 16-28. 211 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, we outgained them, 396-373. to Their passing game was okay. Uh, Yates had a good game. Barkley got hurt. Uh, we limited the running game to 3.1 yards a carry. We ran for 185 yards. Valenti 25 for 98. Kennedy had a couple of touchdown runs. Tisdale, his first game as a Boston College Eagle. The freshman, 6 for 85 and a touchdown. Gun 4 for 83. Uh, Davis and Moultrie with picks. We had one, two, three forced fumbles, three recovered fumbles, one sack, and it was a good game, and we are one and oh. That's going to do it, guys. We'll talk to you all soon. We'll get into recruiting right off the bat, and we'll probably get through the first half of the season. Talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.